Hey, what's up guys? Thought we'd do a little video about different motors and see what they look like and the different sizes. The only thing I don't have with me today is a scale. Uh, first up is a uh, brushed motor. I put this in a slash for my son to make it go really slow since he's six years old and trying to learn. Um, you can see here just a little over two inches if you count all this junk on the back. The actual can itself is closer to an inch and a half there. Um, of course, really slow. Not a whole lot of excitement there, but it's good for a kid. Um, this guy here is one that actually came on a used slash I bought. And it was a blast on 3S, but I think 3S was too much for it because it, it got really hot all the time and um, ended up sort of destroying the motor. It needs to be rebuilt. I just don't really have an interest in it anymore because I go for higher power stuff nowadays. Uh, but this is just short of two inches there. Um, so these, these two guys here, these smaller motors or something you might get on your Traxxas, Probably going to run a little gear like this. I, it's been a long time, but I think these are like 48 pitch, something like that. Um, little guys. And um, later on, if you go to big power, you're going to need mod one, and you can see the difference in the size of the teeth there. Uh, the mod ones can handle power without the gears breaking, and I think they can handle a little bit of flex in the chassis better too because of the depth of these teeth here. Um, so that sort of leads me to where I went with my slash 4x4. This is the uh, infamous Mamba Monster or the 1515 Castle. Um, ignore this X01 mount that's on there that gives it a little extra length but right around 3 inches um, these guys have a 5 mil shaft, so you got to get the um, larger bore. And um, Mod 1 is, is usually a really good fit for these. Um, lots of speed, lots of power. This, this isn't a really big motor, but it, it cranks out a lot of power. And there's, there's guys that have gone really fast with these. Um, you might notice this gigantic wheel here and my X-Max. So that led me over to the uh, fifth scale motors. And these are pretty big. This is a 5882 from Hobby Wing. And um, this isn't a real long can motor, uh, but it's certainly wide. And um, I think this one's rated at 1350 kV, if I remember right. So it's, it's just barely longer than this Castle 1515. Um, but the uh, diameter is really where you see the difference here. Um, yeah, 1360 KV is on that one. Uh, yeah, a lot, lot bigger and certainly a lot heavier. Um, the other thing too is the shaft. Um, fifth scale motors, you're gonna go from a five mil shaft up to an eight mil. Um, so if you look at the gears here and compare that, it's a pretty significant difference. Um, and that one's a uh, 29 tooth, I believe. And with this motor on 8S, 29 tooth, and um, 46 tooth in here. I've hit as much as 72 miles an hour with the X-Max um, So it's it's a lot of power and I think it's probably more in it if I, I put some bigger gears 29 is not the Biggest gear in the world. We'll see what what it ends up doing um, But I've sort of got rid of running that and uh, Got this beast here um, TP Power, this is a 56 series, 5670. Um, same deal on the shafts, they're both 8mm shaft. Uh, 
Uh, this being a 70, it's a little bit longer. It's, uh, it looks like right there around four inches. And uh, I'm pretty excited to run this. They, you know, the ratings are, are funky and who knows what they really are because these 1515s, if you look at, Castle doesn't give specs on them, but if you look at Steve New's uh, website, he's, they're rating these pretty low and based on what you see on the logs from the XLX, these things are cranking out over 4,000 watts, which is probably double what they're rated for, um, maybe even more. These guys here are not rated for a whole lot, um, and I'm pretty certain that I've already probably doubled what it's rated for, but these TPs, I think what they put on their website is probably like max you can get out of them. I think they do things a little different than the other manufacturers do. Um, so these are rated up around 12,000 watts. Um, which equates to about 16 horsepower. Of course, you have to take away roughly about 10% for efficiency losses. A lot of your power goes into heat, which is why your motors get really hot. Um, and these fifth scale motors get hot, even, even though they're big, um, they still get plenty hot. Um, but with that said, I was running the X-Max pretty hard at 72 miles an hour and uh, it was about a 70 degree day and this thing never went over a hundred. Uh, and I made probably about six to eight passes with it. It was running about 95 degrees. So it, it stayed cool, but it, again, it was a 29 tooth gear, which isn't putting a whole lot of stress on it. If I gone up a lot bigger, it probably would have got a lot hotter. Uh, anyway, I'm excited to start using this guy here and, uh, see what sort of numbers I can get. Stay tuned for more, see what this thing can do, and uh, hopefully in a few months I'll release a video about what I've done with my Slash 4x4. It's, um, it's unrecognizable. I'm trying to make it the world's fastest, and it's going to be pretty interesting. All right, thanks. Uh, stay out there running RCs, go fast, stay safe, keep your kids away from them. These things, if they hit your kid at full speed, it's putting them in the hospital. Guarantee it. Thanks, guys.